are going to talk about itching. So my son goes through itching like crazy. It is in his mind, no rash, no changes in soap, no changes in detergent, just itching all the time. Is this normal? Yeah. So, you know, we were inspired about five years ago to do a survey of families with JOHD, because as we were going through our study, this was something that we heard come up a lot and it was not in the literature, something that was really unusual, right? And so we were really surprised to see when we surveyed families that for JOHD, this is common. And more importantly, this was one of the only symptoms that was directly related to CAG repeat length, meaning that the higher the CAG repeat length, the more likely they were to have this symptom. So for those kids who had a CAG repeat length of 80 or above, which means that they had an onset very early in life, they were more likely to have this symptom. Sometimes it could be described as pins and needles. And so in many ways, it is a sensory kind of symptom, but it can be very difficult. And once again, there is no rash. So there does not seem to be any dermatologic or skin origin. It is common in JOHD. I think that's the most important thing is to realize that, that other families have dealt with this a lot. Sometimes, even if it's not a skin origin, I've had families say that just trying to help the skin, so being able to put cold compresses on and try to desensitize that area can help a little bit. But I will say the one thing that's frustrating is that we don't know what kind of treatments could potentially help with this. I think it's a really important area that going forward, we need to have a better idea. I know that some families have tried medications that help with neuropathic pain, like gabapentin or something like that. And it hasn't necessarily, there has not been a panacea of, of anybody finding good treatments for this. But I think the most important thing is to understand that this is actually a pretty common phenomenon.